The sensitive election materials for Nasarawa State have arrived the Lafia office of the Central Bank of Nigeria early this week, and they remain in the custody of the bank up to the time the office of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in the state took over the custody of materials for distribution to the 13 local government areas of the state ahead of next Saturday's elections. Having sorted out the sensitive materials in the presence of political parties' agents, security personnel, elections observers, and journalists, INEC, under the supervision of the state resident electoral commissioner, Abdurrahman Ajidagba, commenced distribution of the materials to local government areas across the state. Speaking on the distribution, the state resident electoral commissioner, Ajidagba, said it was a hit free exercise. We are moving to various local governments. And all efforts is geared towards ensuring that the polls start at 8 o'clock. While ensuring fairness to all in the process, the Commission appealed for cooperation of political parties and general public for successful governorship and state house of assembly elections in the state. Mohammed Serkin Pawa is the agent of the ruling All Progressive Congress in the state. He expressed satisfaction over the distribution. All the party agents are there, the security agents are there, we are satisfied with the solutions. People's Democratic Party agent Yakubu Husseini, on his part, satisfied with the distribution, but expressed a little challenge. It is so far so good anyway, except that we have some few challenges. Uh, ballot papers for House of Assembly in Nesarawa Central uh, constituency has not arrived completely. I have told uh, the resident electoral commissioner that you should try as much as possible with this switch to ensure that those, those, those materials get to the constituency before Saturday. As at the time of filing this report, election materials have already been deployed to the 13 local government areas of the state. From Lafia, Abubakar Abdullahi, Liberty News.